This is an Echeveria Cante. This is actually my baby Echeveria Cante. And this Echeveria Cante has got a lot of farina. Farina is... This white stuff that's on the succulent, on the leaves of the succulent. So if I touch this one, you get this white powdery uh, stuff that sort of comes off and if you have oily hands this is going to take a while before it comes back. Removing the farina on succulents doesn't really bother me that's why I top water most of my succulents if not all my succulents but there's a lot of you who doesn't like to remove the farina or concerned about removing the farina so this Echeveria Cante when sprayed will look like the farina has disappeared and so does this Echeveria afterglow here but I'm not worried about that because they do come back so I made a video about this solution I'm using for my succulent pesticide and fungicide which I swear by that means it has worked really well for me and it hasn't burned any of my succulent so check out the video link below this video in the description box this is a Echeveria fudge which has a lot of farina as well so let's spray that there you go just to show you that i am not afraid to spray this because the farina does come back violet magic so violet magic is full of farina as well so you can see all the scarring of the leaves there where the farina has been touched and let's spray that just in case we have some rotting or whatever going on just to secure that and this and this violet magic here is still small and is about to have a baby so I'm not even going to touch you but let's move on to the diva of farinas farina laden succulents such as the lawi here this is the diva of all divas because the farina comes off easily I can't use any more farina succulents <laughs> the lawi and that's why the lawi is such a high high maintenance for me because the minute you touch the farina see like that one that's been touched like a year ago on the edges there and yet it still hasn't returned but to show you that this is safe to use on highly farina succulent i'm spraying my lawi and also this one here which is about to flower as well see Ten minutes later, it all dried up and look at my Lawi, my Diva Lawi. Now, see that shows you that the farina does come back. But the one that you touch with the oil, that part there, is not going to come back because there's no farina there to start with. So once you remove it with oil, it's going to take a long time for the farina to come back but if you spray this methylated or this methyl solution of mine then the farina will come back and it doesn't affect them at all so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and keep watch for the next video on how to treat the big trots over here that i've already proceeded to clean up